Hello everyone, I wanted to do a video on Denix replica guns because I hear a lot of people asking are they good? Are they good re uh, replicas? Are they bad replicas? That sort of thing. So I thought I'd um, do a video on my experience with them. And I only have two Denix revolvers but I'm very pleased with both of those. Um, Denix also do lots of World War 1 and World War 2 type guns. Unfortunately due to UK law I can't own them without special sort of licenses or sort of reenactor type licenses for those. But pre-1870 guns, although this is technically a gun from 1873, um, you're allowed to own because they're considered antiques even if they're replicas, not actual um, live firearms or imitation firearms. So what we have here is a Griswold and Gunnison um, Confederate revolver based on the Colt Navy, it's sort of like the Confederate clone of a Colt Navy and um, this is the Peacemaker or the Single Action Army um, so both Colts, well that's sort of a clone of a Colt but um, and these in my experience or my sort of use of them are very good replicas however people have pointed out to me in the videos that there are little things that aren't right with them and that doesn't bother me because most of these Denix sort of guns, the revolvers at least, are about 60 to 100 pounds. Whereas obviously an original would, for the ones at the time period, would be several hundred if not thousands of pounds. Similar fees in dollars. And, um, you know, to get the more realistic replicas, again, they cost more and some of them wouldn't be legal under sort of UK laws. So... So the things that people have pointed out to me that aren't quite accurate on things like these are um, for example with this you can move the chamber um, it only goes uh, clockwise but you can move the chambers around on this without moving the hammer back apparently that's something that you shouldn't be able to do but then I don't have an experience of a real one so I can't say that's true or not and apparently a real Colt single action army would have a four stage hammer this only has a two stage hammer it's little things like that but for the most part these are very accurate, this has the sort of cartridge gate on the back, the bullet gate um, so things like that you know, um, there are little things with them that aren't quite right that I wouldn't notice sort of build quality is very good from my experience, I have heard people complain about the build quality of these but um, this uh, Griswold I've had a few years I haven't handled it particularly well in that time you can see where the paint sort of started to fade a bit there, but it still looks good, it's sort of got a good weathered effect, no rust on it anywhere. I've not oiled it or anything like that. This is nickel plated, the Peacemaker, which looks very nice. Um, whether or not that nickel plating will start wearing off, maybe. But for the moment I'm very, very pleased with it. Uh, what I have seen of Denix's guns that don't look quite as good as these are the um, sort of more, re uh, more modern guns. So. Things like um, the Thompson, the MP40, stuff like that. And it seems on the more modern Denix guns, stuff looks almost a bit, I don't know what you say, rubbery or melted, but where bits of the gun just kind of don't look right. Um, and I'm assuming that's because some of the parts are quite well made and other parts, they've not, you know, obviously got ones that are like 1-1 one, one replicas of the actual gun. So the parts they've put on there aren't, specifically for one gun, that's why bits don't look quite right. But as I said, I've never actually owned one myself because of the law over here, I can't, so I can't actually physically handle it and say, yeah, this looks right, this looks wrong, it might just be how it appears in pictures. Because I've sometimes seen from some of these revolvers that these grips look rubbery, but they're actually very nice, solid bits of wood on there. Um, so, again, it might just be the lighting in the photos and things like that. So, are Denix replicas good? In my experience, yes. They're not perfect 1-1 one, one replicas, but you wouldn't expect that of the price. Um, as I said, in the UK you can only really get the old sort of Western revolvers, or pre-Western revolvers, and sort of some of the muskets, or the sort of more modern World War One, World War Two stuff they've done, like all the pistols and, you know, things like the Mauser and the um, sort of Wolfer P-38, stuff like that, and things like the Thompson M1 Carbine AKs, you know, all those sort of clones. They're the ones that don't tend to look so good, but because I can't legally own them, I can't actually have a look at them and see what they look like in person. So, but for me personally, Denix um, replica firearms are quite well made and I can't really fault them.